Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Robin Virchow. I am the CEO of Guiani Metals, and I'm going to be talking you through our project uh, briefly today. So uh, 2021 is going to be a very transformational year for Guiani. Recently, we have completed a significant financing for the company uh, the, towards the end of uh, 2020 in December, where we raised $7.475 million in fresh capital plus 400,000 in warrants exercised by our largest shareholder, Rap Capital. Uh, this was absolutely um, amazing support uh, from the market. From I'd particularly like to thank Cormark, uh, Beacon Securities, and Richardson Wealth, who uh, were the syndicate members and helped us raise the money. Uh, we added a number of very high quality new institutions to the register. Uh, and we uh, of course, uh, had the support of our existing shareholders, uh, specifically RAP Capital, uh, with them staying at their above 10% position. Uh, so that sees us funded all the way through uh, the next year and the full cycle of development and exploration that we will be looking to do uh, during 2021. Currently, uh, we have been working on the feasibility for uh, some time now, and it is progressing quite nicely. We uh, are into the uh, back half of that now, and we would expect that to be uh, completed sometime towards the middle of this year. Uh, in particular, right now, the drilling uh, program for the reserve is very important in, in terms of the feasibility study because it will deliver the hydrometallurgical samples, uh, which are the next critical step uh, towards the uh, design of the plant. So uh, if you look forward to this year, we have a lot of pro probably something like 10, 10 or 11 announcements that should, could come out in the next uh, four to five months. Uh, in particular, we are, will be announcing fairly shortly uh, something on the uh, demonstration plant and the uh, implementation of the plan to build that. Uh, we have completed our solar trade-off study that should be out fairly shortly as well. Um, we will uh, more specifically um, hope to be filing our ESIA in the not too di uh, distant future as well. We, that work has progressed very uh, well and the special studies should be uh, fairly uh, complete in the, uh, the next few weeks. Um, uh, we have been working very hard on a number of green initiatives. Uh, um, uh, we have a uh, LCI, LCA um, uh, analysis that's been do being done uh, by uh, a well-respected environmental consulting agency uh, that will give us a scorecard on our uh, carbon footprint. So I think what would be quite useful uh, now for um, both existing investors and new investors is if we uh, take a look at uh, an abridged um, summary of our presentation and we can look at the, an overview of the company. So thank you very much, as you can see here, uh, um, the first page of our presentation. And if we uh, flip forward to the uh, next page, please. Uh, the investment summary of, of the company, uh, we are manganese uh, oxide deposit in Botswana. Uh, we have great economics, um, low project capital. Um, and as I mentioned before, feasibility study should be out in the uh, first half of, or towards the back end of the first half of 2021. We should be updating the market on that uh, fairly shortly as we are um, appointing, or we have appointed uh, a new COO, uh, and uh, we are running through all the timelines in our strategic planning and budgeting session that happens in the month of January every year. Uh, we, we think we're excellently positioned uh, for the growth that is happening in the battery electric vehicle market at the moment. So if we could flip to the next uh, slide, please. Projects, uh, as you can see in the pictures there, very well-developed infrastructure. Botswana is a great uh, country. Uh, the three projects are Keho, Otse, and Labatse. Keho is the most advanced. We will be announcing exploration at Otse. Again, uh, uh, fairly shortly, we um, are in the RFP process for the uh, drilling and for the uh, uh, geophysical work that will be done there to uh, define a resource. Uh, Lobate um, is a little bit further uh, behind. We need to do... Uh, uh, some uh, uh, potentially some inverse polarization work, uh, et cetera, at Lobatse, so we can define where we want to drill. Uh, again, we would be expecting to do that uh, this year. Um, moving on to uh, um, manganese and its uses. Uh, in the past, it's been uh, focused heavily on steel making, but as you will note from a number of our competitors in the market, 
and the venture capital market is uh, very significant and, and growing rapidly at the moment. That's the market that we are aimed at. Uh, in particular, um, obviously, <clears throat> we are interested in the uh, nickel uh, manganese cobalt NMC, or sometimes referred to as NCM uh, cathode uh, batteries. Um, next slide, slide, please. You can see here, uh, um, this gives a very good example of what the supply demand balance is going to be and why we're extremely well positioned. These are slightly out of date as well. They were done in August. They will be updated. This is some proprietary research that was done for us uh, by Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. Um, they are updating this and we would expect these demand figures to uh, be even more uh, significant with the announcements that have come out um, in the industry, in particular Tesla, in the last uh, four or five months. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, just a little bit on the project itself, you can see that um, as part of the feasibility study, uh, uh, we've had some visualization work done and you can see uh, what the pit's going to look like, um, a relatively small scale uh, plant with uh, a simple uh, uh, um, crushing circuit and then um, uh, leaching followed by um, solvent extraction and, and then in the PA, which will be out soon, we'll be describing the process flow for the manganese uh, sulfate monohydrate. Next slide, please. Just a little bit on uh, uh, us and, uh, and some of our competitors. You can take a look at them. Uh, you know, we've got some pretty good competitors out there. Even with the production levels that uh, would come from all of these, uh, uh, we would probably uh, only be able to supply uh, something like 20 to 25% of the market uh, going forwards. So there is going to be a significant shortage of, uh, of metal for the uh, um, uh, nickel manganese cobalt and also for some of the nickel manganese uh, potential spin-off uh, uh, cathodes that uh, Tesla and Volkswagen have been speaking about. You can see we think we think we have an excellent project. We're one of the highest grade uh, um, projects out there. We have the, the lowest OPEX of many of our competitors uh, and we have very, very reasonable uh, um, CAPEX. Uh, which leads to um, high, high IRR um, and um, a decent uh, uh, set of NPV figures for us. Um, that's really all that I uh, have time for uh, um, to briefly introduce you. If you would like to uh, get some more information, you can see the contact details we have there, um, or you can reach out directly uh, um, to me or on my email, uh, which is available um, through the one-to-one -one system. Thank you very much for the time today and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.